At last you've arrived. Good, good. There is much to do and every moment is critical. I'm Overseer Tremel. For decades I have administered the trials that prove who is and is not worthy to join the Sith Order. The trials are a chance to weed out the weak. Those who face them either survive and become Sith, or die. Mark my words, I am destined to be Sith. It wasn't destiny that brought you here. Yes, you are here and ahead of schedule because of me. I expect you to obey. You face your trials, you serve me, and I will make you the most powerful acolyte here. Sounds like a plan. The trials themselves are difficult enough, but they are hardly the greatest threat you face. There's an acolyte here named Vemrin. He's your enemy, and he will try to kill you. We must prepare you. Let him try. I'll destroy him. With my guidance, someday you'll destroy all your enemies. That practice sword you've arrived with is insufficient. The blade of lesser acolytes. You need a dominating weapon. In the tomb of Ajunta Paul, there's an old armory. A strong Sith war blade awaits you there. The tomb is thick with claw slugs. Deadly, savage creatures. Be speedy, but careful. They've been the end of many an acolyte. Then I'll have something in common with the beasts. Once you acquire the war blade, I suggest you spend some time in the tomb bloodying it. Then come to me in my chambers in the academy. When I sent you into the Dark Temple for the Ravager, I thought it might be the last time I saw you, Apprentice. The prisoner grows weaker by the minute. There's no time to spare. Stand back and bear witness. You're wasting your time. I will not. Yes, the Ravager has seized his mind. Excellent. In his condition, we don't have long before the ordeal liquefies all brain matter. He is the picture of torment. I endured his defiance for so long. It is a sight for angered eyes. Republic Worm, you have the information I desire. Tell me everything. I am Republic Information Service on special assignment to verify possible Imperial spy on Nar Shaddaa, commissioned by Jedi Council, acting on suspicions provided by Master Nomen Car. Nomen Car. That's a name I grow tired of hearing. One of your enemies, I take it. My oldest and most hated enemy. An old wound that continues to fester. Nomen Car is a Jedi Master who infiltrated the Sith. I rooted him out. Then he nearly destroyed me and fled. He's dedicated himself to proving that the Sith have spies embedded within Republic and Jedi ranks. I've thwarted him at every turn, but he is tenacious. How did Noman Carr come to suspect my spy on Nar Shaddaa? Tell me, Republic wretch. What alerted him? Master, Noman Carr has a new Padawan. She seems to know any beings true nature she senses hidden darkness and untapped purity astonishing i've never heard of the force granting such a gift tell me how does her power work all i all i know is when master nomen car brought her to narsada this padawan sensed darkness in your spy simply by Seeing him. This is a serious threat. It is the doom I felt. The disruption in the Force. If this young Padawan can see through deception and disguise with such little effort, 
She threatens everything I have worked for. Continue, Republic Dog. Char believes his Padawan's ability is foolproof. But the Jedi Council is skeptical. I was to provide the proof, but I wasn't able to report my findings. We must know more about this Padawan. Yes, my apprentice. Such a threat must not wander the galaxy unchecked. Who is this Padawan, you Republic pest? Tell me everything you know about her. She was found on Alderaan. Her power first emerged, training on Tatooine. And Jedi sent another agent to investigate someone she suspected on Balmora. It's fading. Is she human or one of the Jedi's cursed aliens? Where can I find her? What is her name? I have no nothing... nothing more... The Ravager has emptied his mind. That is all we have to go on. A few random places within the greater galaxy where Noman Carr and his Padawan have been. It's a start, Master. That device did the trick. You are correct. We now have leads to follow. Newman Carr is a relentless crusader, and this Padawan and her unprecedented power threaten everything I have achieved. Your duties are likely to take you to the far reaches of the galaxy. I will need to deploy you at will. You shall have a starship of your own. You've earned it. Go to my personal hangar in the spaceport and claim it. I'll head there immediately. I must ponder our next move. Waste no time. Get your starship in my hangar and wait for further instructions. Yeah, uh, let's go before he tells me to clean all this up, okay? Master Yunlock, the Sith you've been tracking is upon us. Retreat to safety. I will take the intruder on. No, Yu Li. Control your feelings. Stand at my side. I will face this trespasser. Come no farther, Sith. I have been aware of your pilgrimage here. You are a fascinating and contradictory example of your order. I know why you've come. Master Nomenkar's Padawan threatens you somehow. You seek to flush her into the open and silence her. You've figured it out. I will not allow it. It won't be the cause of her exposure. She came to me for guidance, and the bond we struck was the most profound of my life. We are psychically linked, she and I, and I have already warned her about you. She will not fall for your manipulations. I assure you, I can be very convincing. Your will may be great, but hers is greater, and mine is unrelenting. The disparity in our capabilities is equal to the disparity in our age. You cannot win. Turn away now. I'll remain here until I kick sand on your corpse. Now it is clear to me you cannot be redeemed. In me you face a full Jedi Master, and Yu Li has greater command of lightsaber combat than any Jedi Knight I've trained. My lord, the threat is not lost on me. Are you certain we can take on a full Jedi Master and a Jedi Knight? Keep your wits, Quinn. Your compatriot's query is moot, as you will be facing us on your own. Well done, Master Yonlock. Now please, retreat and let me face the Sith. Your concern is appreciated, Yu Li, but I did not seize the advantage here to immediately relinquish it. I tire of all this chatter. Time for you to die. Give no quarter, Yu Li. We fight to defend Norman Kar's Radawan. Hold your weapon, Sith. I beg you. Yu Li, stay your tongue. 
No, she is just a Padawan. You are a great master. I must bargain for your life. Sith, I'll tell you everything I know, if you spare Master Yunlok. Don't you want me to spare you, too? My life is less important. You may do with me as you please. Her name is Jaisa Wilson, and Noman Carr has taken her to... Yu Li, you have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. I have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. Now, sleep. I do not relish wiping Yu Li's mind like that, but his feelings for me got the better of him. Don't try that sorcerer's nonsense on me, Jedi. Believe me, I would, if I didn't sense it would be futile. Jaisa is special, her power unprecedented. If untouched by the likes of you, she has the potential to lead the Jedi to greatness. I'm going to do much more than touch her. You know Jaisa's name, but that is all you'll get here. So you may as well kill me. I must find tranquility, so Jaisa will sense only peace when you strike me down. Your death will wound her deeply. There is no death. Only... the Force. My lord, I'm sorry I was of no use to you. I did not anticipate the Jedi's incapacitating tactic. Next time, be more prepared, Captain. I will endeavor to do so, my lord. I'm just thankful my support proved to be unnecessary. Sharik said she would be at our ship. She thought we were doomed. We should inform her of our success. She should never have doubted. She's about to learn that, my lord. General Jessa's warning was true. The Sith has come for us. Men, rally around me. The fight is upon us. I didn't think a single assailant could make it through Castle Organa's defenses all the way here to us. I didn't even break a sweat. Consider yourself warned, Sith. You will not harm Parvin and Gregor Wilson. I vow it. I disavow it. Please. If we really are the cause of all this death, I... I want to know why. Fine. Say your peace, Sith. I'm not going anywhere. And I will protect them, no matter what. I'm here to do things for them, not to them. Then there's no need for further violence. Sith, what is it you want? Gregor, this has to do with Jaisa. I just know it. Yes, I'm here because of your daughter. I knew she shouldn't have gone with the Jedi. Now the Empire is hunting her. Sith, Jaisa was our life. She was going to marry Organa nobility so that we would no longer have to be servants. When she left, we sacrificed that dream. We don't know anything about Jaisa now. We were told we would probably never see her again. We are mere servants. What could you want with us? I'm here to deliver you from servitude. You... you want to help us? No, Gregor. The Sith is toying with us before killing us. Heed your wife's warning, Gregor Wilson. Sith are devious and demented. Is that what you mean, Sith? By killing us, you end our life of servitude? C can't you spare us? If you align with the Empire, you live. What do you mean by this? What is to happen to us if we do as you say? I'll see to it that you live like kings. You dirty, no good cretin! Arvin, Jace has gone off to a life of discipline and detachment. We are unlikely to ever see her again. The Sith is offering us a way out of this, a, a way to live. Jace is sensitive, Gregor. She will feel our betrayal. It will fester in her. Don't you see? This Sith is banking on that. You've figured it out. My wife can't see the big picture. You offer a choice between death or pledging ourselves to our daughter's enemy. I choose that Parvin and I live in the arms of the Empire, and I trust that my daughter will understand and remain strong. A wise approach. Please, my sweet, stand with me on this. My place is with you, Gregor. As long as we're alive, there's hope. We're in agreement. We shall embrace the Empire.
Tell us what happens next. You'll receive instructions at the Imperial Landing. <clears throat> I'm so glad you've all found an accord. But there's still the matter of you being our enemy, Sith. Not only will I not allow the Wilsons to do this, but you had yourself a killing spree getting here. And that can't go unpunished. Stand in my way, and everyone dies. Yes, Master Volrider. Stay true to the Jedi Code and keep the peace. Too many have died already today. Gregor and I go of our own free will and spare this house any further pain. This doesn't sit right. But I can't attack someone walking in peace. Even a Sith. You just saved your life. The Code is everything, Sith. But I wouldn't expect you to respect it. Leave out the back door to avoid further casualties. I'll say nothing further. You crushed Alderaan under your boot, Apprentice. I am incredibly impressed. The planet will feel the sting for years to come. I savored the destruction. Yet all this is merely prelude. Noman Kar's Padawan can no longer hide in anonymity. I am pleased. By rooting out this Jaso Wilson's parents, you have reached across the galaxy to strike a sharp blow at our enemies. Every lead followed perfectly, every planet ravaged. Our adversary is growing antsy, I can feel it. Expect news soon. Bear us out. My lord, I thought it prudent not to interrupt Darth Barris. We received a recorded transmission. It is queued when you are ready. Sith, I'm Jaso Wilson. My master, Noman Carr, has no idea I'm sending this message. Let's be real. We both know this isn't about us. Ah. The hunted seeks the hunter. Our masters pretend otherwise, but this is personal. You and I are only pawns in their private war, and those I care about are caught in the middle. It has to stop. Wow. Gotta give it to her. She sure got guts. She certainly does. I sense inconsistency in your actions. Maybe you're as tired of all this passive-aggressive foolishness as I am. This message includes coordinates where I'll be waiting in my ship. Let's discuss this face-to-face. -face. No more nonsense. What do you think of that, Captain? It could be a trap, my lord. Noman Khan may have put her up to it. Hey, don't listen to Captain Paranoid here. I don't think it's a trap. I trust her. I'll take that under advisement. The coordinates are set, my lord. We can rendezvous with her ship whenever you give the word. Oh well. We're going to have to thank Noman Carr after all. The Sith showed. Stand down, Sith. The Padawan you seek is not here. Master Carr discovered her plan and talked her out of it. It's not your day. You were expecting one lowly little Padawan to crush. And instead, you get us. You'll do just fine. I enjoy destroying your kind. Then we have something in common. I am Alden. This is Xylix. We are fully trained Jedi Knights and more than your match. You should submit. Of course, we have yet to encounter a Sith who had the sense to surrender. You all seem bent on having us destroy you. Admit it. You'd be disappointed if I gave up. Not at all. We don't go around picking fights. I wouldn't trust it if the Sith surrendered. I prefer the sureness of death. Ha! <laughs> Keep thinking like that and you'll fall to the dark side before you know it. Shut your mouth. Xylix, remain calm. The Sith is just trying to unbalance you. Don't let this get under your skin. Xylix knows the truth. I think he wants to fall. Liar! I'm not weak like you. We simply meet force with force. You are my brother. We are the same. Attack, and let us see your true colors. I won't stand here and be insulted like that. Xylix, get a hold of yourself. No, no more talk! You die, Sith!
I had no idea Xylex was so imbalanced. You exposed his weakness so easily. Your kind neither fall to the dark or to a Sith's might. Nomen Kar will prove those words false. You've won the day, Sith, so kill me if you must. I must. <laughs> May the Force accept me. Apprentice, the timing of this call is fortuitous. I was just about to contact you with news. The Padawan bade me meet with her, so I went to end this. But two of Kar's Jedi friends were waiting instead. Fascinating. It seems both Master and Padawan have been disturbed by your exploits. I have received a transmission from Noman Kar, calling me out, if you will. Challenging me to face him to the death. Our enemy has become desperate. Allow me the privilege of destroying him. You have read my mind, Apprentice. Car fails to understand I have outgrown our personal dispute. He expects me to jump at the chance of strangling him. He will be unprepared for you. Just tell me where to go. The duel is to happen on Hutter at the site of Noman Car's betrayal so long ago. A fitting place for this to end. Defeat him, but do not kill him. His torment will reach out to his Padawan. He will be the bait that brings her to you. Sounds like a plan. I can feel Jason Wilson on the verge of breaking, and Carl's desperate actions confirm it. Subdue the Master, and the pupil will come to save him. I have foreseen it. Your presence tells me that my fellows Olden and Xylex must have failed. Pity. Should have known Barris couldn't be trusted. As a man of my word, I'm here. Alone as agreed. Your master shows himself a coward, sending you in his stead. You sound upset, Master Carr. Angry, even. Your crusade has affected me, Sith. I'm not blind to that. But I've wandered the line between the dark and the light before. I walked among your master and the Sith. My connection to the light survived them, and it shall survive you. That was Barris. I'm completely different. So, you can succeed where your master failed? I have no choice but to put an end to you. And then all will become calm again. Once you're out of the way, Jason will provide the proof I need to open the Jedi Council's eyes and expose Barris's network of spies. Come, Kar. Let us embrace death and settle this once and for all. Very strong with you. I must dig deeper. Release your anger. It's the only way to defeat me. My wound is mortal, Seth. At least I die knowing you'll never find Jaysa. My lord, Darth Barra sent us in case you needed help. Clearly that's not the case. He said Noman Kar should be kept alive. May we stabilize him? No. Barris be damned! I want... to die. Then Jaysa will be safe. 
I'm not done, Carr. You will suffer as no one has ever suffered. May the Force protect me. We'll save him, my lord, and then be out of your way in an adjacent chamber. Hurry, man! The Jedi's fading! <laughs> Torture me all you like, Sith. The pain only fills me with more hate, more rage. You... I... I'm going to kill you. You and your pathetic master are dead. Do you hear me? Dead! How delightful to hear you spew such venomous thoughts, Jedi. Please continue. Your smugness is an insult. You're not my better. Unbind me, so I can rip you limb from limb. My lord, the Padawan has arrived. She looks rather unnerved. Now we'll see what she's really made of. Sith! Your men outside let me pass, so I assume I'm expected. Cease your sadistic attacks on my master now. Jason, no! I told you to stay put. How dare you defy me? Jason's destiny lies with me, old man. My sacrifice for nothing! Stupid child! For all your power, you have understood nothing. What have you done to him, Sith? Has this been inside him all along? No. It can't be. No one can hide such darkness. Somehow you've turned him mad! I only exposed what was lurking inside. Is that what you call what you've been doing? I am confused by you, Sith. Your actions with my parents on Alderaan and Master Yanlok on Tatooine paint different pictures. To show such mercy with one, but cruelty with the other. You are an enigma, but now you torment me by sadistically torturing my master. Obviously you mean to kill him, I cannot allow that. Stop me. Lash out and strike me down. No, I... Is this more trickery? Do not taunt me, Sith. I will not be played with. Prove you are right. Destroy me. There is no other way. If not, you and your master die here. I've warned you. Wait! What have I done? Jason, no! Prepare to die, Sith! So... frustrating! I cannot defeat you! It was... was it all lies? Everything? He told me that the light side was stronger. That it was why I could see through the facade of those who were dark. But it's not true. I am no match for you. The dark side is clearly... stronger. You haven't completed your training, Jaysa. When you are fully communed with the light side of the Force, no Sith will be your match. Yet you are a master of the light. Why couldn't you beat me? All my life, I've put up with deceit and denial. I thought the Jedi would be different. You've shown me otherwise. You've exposed Master Carr for what he is. It's your power that reveals a person's true nature. The fear you inspire forces truth to the surface. I want that. You will be my apprentice, and I will teach you the ways of the dark side. I am honored, my lord. At last. I feel a sense of purpose, something I can count on. What do you wish of me? And what shall we do with Master Carr? Your first act in my charge is to kill your former master. You want me to kill him? I'm conflicted about this. Perhaps you don't have the stomach to do what is necessary. No, my lord, I'll prove myself to you. I'm actually feeling excited at the prospect of killing him. Jason, the Sith is turning you into a murderer. It is for the greater good. 
A principle the Jedi often use to justify their actions, no? It is done, my lord. Noman Carr is no more. And the guilt of this, the exhilaration, the resentment, let it all nourish you. My emotions are raw, but I have never felt so alive. I have a taste for blood now. I look forward to indulging it with your next command. I sensed Noman Carr's death from across the galaxy. I must admit, after all these years, to be rid of him, it has unsettled me a bit. A worthy adversary is hard to come by. Don't worry. A good Sith is always cultivating new enemies. I see you have a new passenger. Jason Wilson, I presume. This is my master, Darth Barris. Greetings, my lord. Your parents are alive and thriving here on Drummond Kass. They'll be so pleased to know you are safe. Please tell them I have never been happier. I sense her devotion to you, apprentice. However did you manage that? I can be very persuasive. Marvelous, apprentice. Simply marvelous. There's no denying you are a master of the dark arts now. Only the most accomplished among us are named as lords among Sith. You have more than earned the distinction. I hereby confer the title of Sith Lord upon you. You honor me. Through your exemplary service, you honor yourself. I award a considerable stipend to those who attain such a rank in my service. Enjoy it. Now celebrate as you see fit. Then return to me here on Dromund Kos. I have great plans for us. Wow. A lord. I'm impressed. Congratulations, my lord. You've both been a great help. Service is its own reward. Yeah. What he said. I already prepared Jace's quarters. I'll go ahead and show her to them. Perhaps you would be more comfortable in my room, Jason. Don't think it's going to be that easy, my lord. Ooh. I really like her. So, my lord, now you have the girl. A victory, I dare say, even Barris failed to anticipate. You've become a Sith Lord, and your power base is growing. Where are your sights set now? Now we crush all the Empire's enemies and bring the Republic to its knees. I hope to be there when you deal the final blow. I leave you to enjoy this achievement. What is on your mind, Apprentice? So much. I've only touched the dark side, and already I feel as though the galaxy is unfurling before me. There's so much to take in. And I'll admit, I'm a little uncertain about what it means to be Sith. You must learn how things run around here, and how best to serve me. Tell me, what do you think your role as my apprentice is about? What do you suppose our relationship is? You are my master in all things. I do as you say, no matter what. My life belongs to you. That's how I was trained. But I want to do things differently. Show respect and honor my commands. But you can look me in the eye. Oh. I only wish you'd found me sooner. All my life I've felt kept and confined. Always wanting to watch what I say, treating emotion as the enemy. The dark side is my freedom. I'm going to express everything. We believe that letting our emotions flow makes us stronger and unlocks our potential. As you speak, I am swelling with pride and hope. Please, may I ask you something? What do you want to know? It's about the Twi'lek, Vet. Can she be trusted? She seems rather... soft. Vet lacks the will and the ability to resist. She complains, but does as she's told. If you're comfortable with her, then I am as well. I see I have much to absorb. I'm humbled by your attention. Thank you. We can continue this discussion another time. Of course, my master. 
Master, your indulgence, please? We haven't spoken for some time. Are you upset with me? It hasn't been intentional. Good to know. The nobles on Alderaan treated me like I wasn't there. First because I was just a servant, then because they knew I could see through their pomp and distortions. I wanted to expose it all, bring their political nonsense to a halt. What was stopping you? I was naive, stupid. And the lady I served seemed sincere when she advised me not to. Of course she ended up using me for her own ambitions. Deep down I hated my life, but I swallowed those feelings. You've come a long way already. Now, you can let your feelings go. Yes. I'm finally living. All thanks to you. Vault code sequence arming. The reactor core will self-destruct in 60 seconds. Vault code sequence initiated. Terrific. If that imposter was wrong about how much time this will take, we'll be blown to bits. Danger only makes things more fun. The reactor core will self-destruct in 45 seconds. Men, the enemy is accessing the fallout vault. Defeat the Sith and we can weather the explosion inside the vault. At least we won't be twiddling our thumbs. More fools to the slaughter. I love the thrill of killing. Hope that wasn't our last. The reactor core will self-destruct in 10 seconds. If there's something you want to say before the end, now's the time. I feel we've only just scratched the surface of our potential together. Vault code sequence complete. The reactor core will self-destruct in 5 seconds. Vault lock disarming. 4. Vault door airlock releasing. Three. Vault open. On the inside. Our enemies will pay for this. I am here. Let the war begin. Yes, time is of the essence. Lieutenant Pierce, Captain Quinn, bring my apprentice up to speed on our enemy's activity. Yes, my lord, it's a fairly complex situation. General Ferrer, the War Trust's most senior member, is garrisoned in a fortified wing of the Republic's main base. He's got a huge army protecting him. More reinforcements on the way. We're outnumbered eight to one. My lord, the lieutenant's statistics are inexact, but the general thrust is sound. The numbers favor Ferrer. But there are ways around that. If you have a plan, let's hear it. Now, to maximize our chances, we must coordinate three simultaneous strikes. One will destroy the base's power station. Another will sabotage its spaceport force field to thwart any reinforcements. And the last will force the conscripted regiments of Ferrer's army to flee. What do these strikes entail? The details will be forthcoming, Apprentice, but I do not need to hear them. Queen will coordinate from the base, and you will lead the frontline offensive. Beyond that, decide how to assign your men. Goodbye. I'm the best choice for frontline work. You need a soldier. I disagree. If the frontal assault isn't handled correctly, your route into the command center will be clogged with run-over battlefield soldiers. In my opinion, Jaser should join you. She can use her power to see into the hearts of the enemy and identify the insecure ranks. I want Jace's insights on the battlefield. Very good, my lord. That leaves Pierce and Vet to handle the power station demolition and the spaceport sabotage. If the traps and mines that protect the power station aren't circumvented in time, you'll be under constant turret fire inside the Republic base. Vet, clear the way so the power station can be destroyed. Child play. Unless Pierce can lock the spaceport force field in time, you'll face Ferrer's reinforcements inside the base. Don't worry about me, Captain. Assaults have been assigned, my lord. Once you've cleared the way on the front, 
Invade General Ferrer's command center at will. Let's get this war started. My lord, any final words for the troops? If you value your lives, do not fail me. The consequences will be dire. Motivational. Good luck, my lord. I'll be coordinating the attacks via Hollow. Don't worry, Captain. The real soldiers have got this one. All alert. The enemy is sighted. <laughs> Sith, you are massively outnumbered. You will not invade General Ferrer's headquarters. Turn away at once. Jaser, use your power and scan Ferrer's forces for the weak link. My pleasure, Master. Most of these dogs are brimming with strength and conviction. I sense hate and a willingness to die for the Republic. Ah, uh, not so fast. There! An entire column of soldiers who are forced to be here. They will definitely run if singled out. Lead the assault against the conscripts, Jaser. Make them flee. Thank you, Master. Men, attack with me! Conscripted scum. We still have numbers. All attack! Master, remember the last Imperial port we were docked at? Because I don't. I think I partied a little too hard there. I vaguely recall an Imperial soldier. I think he and I, uh, got to know each other. Either that or I might have killed him. Or both, maybe. It's fuzzy. I see you're enjoying yourself. The way I see it, I work hard, so I should play hard. But don't get me wrong, I'm not really interested in nameless, faceless, possibly lifeless grunts. I reserve my interest for much more accomplished men. You're staring at one right now. Now look, you've gone and made me blush. You'll see, I'm a quick learner. I, I won't be so clumsy next time. Until then. Thank you for granting me this audience, Master. I'll only take a moment. I have nightmares. I'm wearing the plain robe of the Jedi. When I wake up, I giggle like a small girl. I'd like to see that. In your presence? That giggle would be a full-bodied laugh. I've come to realize that my appreciation of you puts me at odds with the precept of the Sith way. It is expected that an apprentice will eventually seek to overthrow her master. You'll never have to worry about that. I'm glad to hear it. That's all. Thank you for this time, Master. Master, I'm plagued. Tell me what's on your mind. What's on my mind? Let me see, how should I put it? Disenchantment? No, not strong enough. I'm feeling rather betrayed. It's becoming clear that the dark side is as flawed and undependable as everything else. Using my power to reach out into the galaxy, I'm becoming aware of false Sith. Lords who are secretly leaning toward the light. Supply me with names, and we will deal with it. If I knew, I would have already torn out their eyes myself. It will take time for me to pinpoint who and where they are, but believe me, I will find them. I'm glad this concerns you as much as it does me. Master, I know I've been moody lately, preoccupied about the false Sith I seek. I want you to know my confidence in the Empire is shaky, but my commitment to the dark side is strong. I'm reveling in the power of my new emotions. And you're flourishing. I'm very excited by the results. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. I haven't properly thanked you for this amazing gift. I don't want you to think I take you for granted. You should know that I can be, well, anything that you wish me to be. I'm going to need you to be a little more explicit. Maybe this will be explicit enough. I like that side of you. I look forward to getting to know you better. We've only scratched the surface. 
if the Jedi only knew what they were missing. You have something to tell me. I'm just informing you that I will be disembarking for a short while. I've finally tracked down the false Sith I'm sensing. It's time for me to bathe in their impure blood. Sever a few limbs for me, will you? You add fire to my rage, Master. I will return once my bloodlust has been quenched. The false Sith are dead. I slaughtered them. I slaughtered them all. But not before getting confessions from each and making them beg. I've never felt such satisfaction. Let it feed you. There are few greater experiences than destroying traitors. I will be on the lookout for every one of those experiences. For now, I'll continue to use my power to search for traitorous Sith, then systematically eradicate them all. The Empire will be pure when I am through. I vow it. Master, as time passes, the thrill of killing the light side Sith is ebbing. I'm in search of a new thrill. Perhaps one slightly more... personal in nature? Master, I want you. Why don't we find someplace quiet? I like a woman who's direct. Follow me. Everything looks a little different when you're relaxed, you know? The sky is brighter, the stars shinier. Can't wait to get all tense again. You can come to me whenever you're stressed. In our line of work? That won't be long. Until next time, Master. It's so amusing to think I was once training to be a Jedi. You're opening me up to my true potential. I feel such power surging through me. I'm impressed with how well you're absorbing all my various influences. Ready for more whenever you are, dear. There will be no stopping us. Master, I have become aware of an amazing development. The other night I couldn't sleep. I sensed something and ventured out, tracking the sensation. I came upon a badly injured Sith who reeked of the light side. He was suffering and on the verge of death. Tell me you ended his miserable existence. I didn't have to. His injuries were extreme. He spoke of a Sith and his agents whose sole purpose is to hunt down traitors to the dark side. Whoever this Sith is, he filled this man with such fear and pain. All I can think is, where do we sign up? We could coordinate efforts with this Sith. Exactly my thinking. We can share information and pool resources and clean up the Empire all the more thoroughly. By using my power on the dying man, I got an impression of the Sith who did the damage. I'm reaching out with my senses to try to catch his scent. Some kind of trail I can follow to locate him. You have my blessing. Leave no stone unturned. I will be thorough, Master. Hello out there. A word, please. I am Jedi Master Samanik Timms. This is not your day, Jedi. I am Sif, and I need to get inside that room. I can sense your presence and nature. I even know who you are. Many years past, I was the Padawan of Master Noman Kar. He and I forged a bond through the Force. I know about your confrontation with Master Kar and what you did to him. Your master begged like a coward, and died like a dog. Master Carr succumbed to darkness, I know. Hard to imagine such a strong Jedi reduced to such a condition. Ever since you defeated Carr and took Jaysa Wilson, the Jedi Council has been keeping track of you. We know you are no longer aligned with Darth Barriss, and are in fact here to stop Lord Melikost from freeing Darth Ekkage. Though Barriss is my enemy, I'm still Sith. I expect nothing else, but your arrival here tells me something. It's a dead end, Sith. To follow Lord Melikost, you need information from the computers in this room, but the door has been fused. 
I came for the same reason. I got the information, but Lord Melikost's commandos trapped me in here. Outmatched by mere commandos. Not your proudest day. Oh, I don't know. There were quite a lot of them, and I held my own. Our combined strength, striking the door from both sides simultaneously, could break the physical seal. Trouble is, there's a fail-safe force field that makes even that impossible. Now, if you were to take out that force field... So what exactly do you want me to do? There are several power stations feeding this installation. Destroy them, and the force field will not engage. Then you and I can break through this door, and you can access the prisoner reports. First, I'll see to it you die. If you think you'll have time to waste fighting me, it's your call. Scour the area and destroy the power stations. Then return and start banging on the door. We'll work it out. I'll be waiting. After all, where am I going to go? I have returned, Jedi. The power stations are down. Great. With the force field down, we should be able to break the door open. On three. One. Two. Three! Well done, Sith. Now... Wait a moment. You're Jason Wilson, aren't you? I used to be. Any regrets, my dear? Joining up with this rogue? Absolutely not, Jedi. Not when I get to meet and destroy obnoxious fools like you. A woman after my own heart. Yes, you seem to deserve each other. Now before you think to fight me, Sith, I suggest you inspect the computer banks in here. You're looking well for someone I blew up. Your slaves put up a decent fight, too. Darth Barris and I will put them to good use. Barris is the true voice of the Emperor, you know. Soon he'll claim his rightful title. Vengeance will be mine, Drag. First you, then Barris. Charming. Barris held back when training you. But he taught me everything. And Darth Vengen showed me dark side secrets even Barris doesn't know. Show me what you got, Drag. I'm ready for you. This is so much fun. You think you're doing well. Sorry to burst your bubble, but I have a secret. I can't be killed. Permit me to test that statement. You will learn the hard way. Persistent. It's time I stop prolonging this. You must be the luckiest being in the galaxy. But Darth Barris will see that luck run out. Vengeance is served. It's 
savor that master. His flesh will burn off as he suffers the most painful of deaths. Delicious. The more painful his death, the better. Your spite gives me shivers. Spectacle's over. We have more victims to hunt down. I'll revive the others, Master. Master, I have exciting news. A trail of corpses, all slain the same as the light side Sith I found, has led me to the perpetrator. His name is Lord Sentence. He's been secretly hand-chosen by the Dark Council to eradicate any and all Sith who are not pure. He operates with impunity. No one is above his judgment. It makes my mouth water just thinking about such power. Why should this Sendence have such authority? From what I've learned, he is an uncommon butcher, driven by darkness. He's already accused and destroyed so many traitors. It's a mystery to me how he has been so prolific without my special power. But I've reached out to him, and he has granted me an audience. That's good news, Jacer. I'm sure he will see the sense of employing you to help carry out his work. I love that you're not jealous. Through him, I'll quench my need to purify the Sith and be back in my quarters every night. Or in yours. This is my destiny. The purpose of my power, I know it. Now, I'm meeting him shortly. Leave a light on for me. I see you've returned from meeting Lord Sentence. How was it? Interesting, to say the least. Within moments, I realized he was killing any Sith he pleased, all in the name of hunting traitors. Very few of his victims were valid targets, and he was very excited that my special power would unequivocally validate his work. Said that we could literally reorganize the entire power structure of the Empire. To entice me, he... Suggested we start by pointing the finger at you. Tell me you laughed in his face. I laughed in it. Then I stuck my lightsaber through it. The man wanted me to abuse my gifts, and betray the one person in the galaxy I respect and owe my life to. It took everything I had, but it was the most satisfying kill of my young life. I applaud you, Jasa. Relish this moment. Oh, I do, Master. But there's even more. The Dark Council's emissary, a man named Kaliku, was there too. He's the one holding Lord Sendence's leash on this assignment. He offered me Sendence's mandate. As I sensed light-leaning Sith, I'd report them to him. And when possible, I'd be sent to eradicate. Your dream come true, and a deserved distinction, Jaser. I will make you proud. I promise. And don't think I'll forget that it's you who has made this possible. My devotion will never flutter. Thank you. Master, everything else aside, the visceral experience of facing Lord Sendence continues to tantalize me. I relive it nightly and awaken buzzing. When I feel such pleasure, all I can think of is sharing it with you. When I feel pain, I ache to be consoled by you. I know what this is. It's love. I love you too, Jaysa. Mm, I feel weak and strong all at once. The chaos of it electrifies me. My heart is yours now, know that. But I want this to be different. Special. As you already know, my reflex is to rush to instant gratification, but let's milk this feeling, this want. Let it build before we act on it. All the better to wait until we ache with longing. The ache in me spikes when you talk like that. I think we are going to like this little experiment. I have to say, this idea to wait and let the desire churn, fantastic. I'm burning for you like never before. I think it's time to do something about it, don't you? You read my mind. Follow me to my quarters. I like it when you lead. I'll be watching you the whole way there. Have to admit, that was so worth the wait. Instant gratification is overrated. I'm a new woman now. So much greater intensity is built through denying one's appetites and then gorging. I'm going to apply this lesson to all things. Eating, 
training, killing. I won't take the easy, quick path ever again. I'm glad you found what fulfills you. You fulfill me, and I trust you, completely. You're the first person I have no compulsion to use my power on in order to be sure I understand. When I'm with you, I actually forget that I have this power. And it is such relief. I'm realizing I never really relaxed before. All my stresses subside when we're together. All right, this is almost too sweet. We don't want the galaxy thinking we've gone soft, do we? Let's get back to work. I look around, I see other men, even the uncomplicated strong ones, you know. My type. And there's no reaction. It's like every cell inside me knows. You and I are made for each other. So you better propose or something, because our offspring will be the most powerful creatures in the galaxy. You're just brimming with confidence, aren't you? How do you know I want the same things? If you're asking if I use my power on you, don't insult me. I'm venturing out on my own. Blind. Can't we leave the game playing behind us? I want us to be married, and then populate the galaxy with Sith, but only as equals. Why don't you shut up and let me lead? I can do that. Marry me. You're right. Much better this way. My nostrils flared and my pupils dilated. I love my emotions. I love being Sith. Husband, will it ever stop? The craving for greater power, the lust for more conquest? To Sith, those things are like breathing. The way I feel, the drive you've awakened and sustained in me will never extinguish. My last breath will be expelled fiercely. Our children will be so gifted, and I'll use my special powers to help guide them and your future disciples. Together, we will build the most fearsome legacy the galaxy has ever seen.